I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be showing you how what what a life cycle of a neutron star is, or in this case a pulsar. But I'll just change that. So this is a crab. This is the very famous crab pulsar, which is in the crab nebula. Okay, so the crab neutron star. <laughs> anyway, so this is the crab neutron star, aka crab pulsar, um, and this. Um, neutron star formed when um, a star, one to three mass um, masses of the sun, collapsed in a supernova and left this behind. So you know what? Let me show that. We're gonna add, and we're going to add. Let's see something really big. Yeah, that's pretty big. So this is proton B, and we are going to make it a neutron star by, well, let's see, by making it explode. It's gonna lag here. A lot. Lag time. Get out of here. Hey, look, it created another cap crab nebula. <laughs> it created another crab nebula. Look at that. That looks cool, huh? So this is a supernova. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? So big. Okay. And let's dive in. And of course with legs. Is there anything at the middle? There should be. Yep, still says supernova. Nope. I'm gonna zoom out now. Well, some facts. There should be something at the middle, but I guess this time it deleted some the something in the middle. And this is what happens when a giant, gigantic star explodes. So, it's called a supernova. Um, and, well, this is what it looks like. This is a supernova. And at the middle of the supernova, there should be a neutron star. And this is how a neutron star forms. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let's create a new simulation, and it should auto-save it. Yep. And um, so, let's get that crab pulsar again. So, ugh, my leg. So this is what should be in the middle, and let's slow it down a little. This is what should be in the middle of the explosion. So, now, what happens? How does it die? Um, well, there are a few scenarios. So, if um, something gets really close to it, um, it should get more mass. And it should start to... So it should actually start to, uh, and so it, so there's a limit on the mass, and that limit is where, how many times the mass of the sun, and what is that limit where it turns into a black hole. So right now it, so, and that limit turns out to be 2.27 times the mass of the sun. But on this one, it goes way higher. And because it's a little different on the on the simulation. So if we keep doing this, you know what, let's just find something to add mass to it. So so if we add let's see. If we add a planet, say Mercury, 
Isn't Mercury big? And have it orbit it. No, that's about what happens. <laughs> um, anyway. Help. <clears throat> uh oh, come on. Just get out. Oof. So big. Well, should turn into a black hole or it turns into this strange thing. <laughs> um, let's just increase the mass. Oh, and look, there's still Mercury. <laughs> Zoom out. Oh, so annoying. You can do it. Computer, don't lag. Don't lag just now. We're doing something here. We're making a video here. Please, cooperate. <laughs> no, well, um, come on. So laggy. I don't know why this is so laggy, but oh well. Well, on my computer it is. <laughs> anyway. Um, sorry it's taking so long guys anyway um stop 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 oh no don't do that either okay there we go now see how much mass it has so oh it's still named crab pulsar <laughs> anyway so, the mass increased by a little bit. Let's increase it a little more. Actually, it lost more mass than it added. And eventually, just type it in. Five. Hmm, not yet. Five times the mass of the sun should be enough, but. Hmm. It's 50 times the mass of the sun. Hmm. It's 50 times the mass of the sun, but it's not doing anything. Oh well. Anyway, should should have turned into a black hole by now. Anyway, so this just say it's a black hole. <laughs> so that's what happens when you when like that's how a, um, a pulsar might end its life into a black hole, and then by Hawking radiation, it will disappear at the end of the universe. Well, not the end, but like the cold darkness. That's really boring. Um, anyway, so um, let's delete this object. There we go, much better. No lag, yay. So let's just add a black hole, <laughs> just to point out what might happen. Zoom in. Look at that beautiful black hole. It's so nice, isn't it? Um, anyway, so this might be how a star ends its life. Like this. Um, but what if, what if the stars were in a binary system and one of them collapsed into a neutron star? Well, that neutron star will start to feed on the lighter star star's um, um, mass, and this, and then it'll turn into a black hole. But there might be still some of that star left, so this might be after after a little. This might happen. So big. A little bit farther. Come on. Okay, I'll speed it up a little. There we go. And that's my that that's probably what would happen like this, and then it will get ripped apart, and then everything will start to orbit. 
Proxima Centauri is all ripped apart. Well, this is what might happen. And this is only one mass of the sun, so it might be heavier. Right? Oh, look. It flashed back into a star. Never mind. <laughs> Didn't want to be a star anymore, I guess. <laughs> anyway, this is what might happen. Oh, it flashed into a star back in. And, oh yeah, because the matter is banging onto the thing and then has enough mass to become a star. And it flashes back again. Okay, this is what might happen. Speed it up, though. Oh well, that's fast enough. Come on, get closer. Really. Slower. And look what happened. Oh no. Okay, anyway, this is what might happen. Proxima Centauri, well, not basically any star, but this is what might happen if, if there was a binary system. And finally, the last remains go in. Go in, I said. Really? Okay, whatever. Let's just go on to the next case. Now, the last case is where maybe two neutron stars come together. What would happen? Well, they're gonna start spiraling happy, right? Here's what happens. So, let's add two crab pulsars. Crab pulsar. Here, watch what happens. They are not gonna be happy. I'm gonna pause it, and then slow it down a lot. really slow okay that's good okay and now both crab pulsars have been placed and well get ready for a lot of lag okay three two one or not Lag time! Almost. Hey. Okay. So this is what might happen, and then... Nope. No lag yet. Interesting, huh? They are not orbiting a berry center, so... I guess... Not really? Uh-oh. Where'd they go? Is that it? Nope. Hmm. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Oh well. Whatever. I'll just try again, okay? You guys, I'm gonna try again. Pause. Slow down time. A lot. Maybe 13. Point something so okay that's too slow okay that's pretty good so this is what might happen so let's go get it again um crab pulsar one right there get ready for the leg okay Uh, okay, where's the other? Should be over here. Yep. And lag time. We shouldn't be orbiting. Both of these are moving, but we centered at the first crab pulsar, so it doesn't look like it, right? There we go. Now we can see the orbits. Okay. Second pass. The second one is having more fun. <laughs> well, I would say. So you can see the paths of both. And this is what might happen if two pulsars get too close to each other. 
right? So, this is what happens. And I don't know why, because this usually doesn't happen. Hmm, weird. But they will start to orbit each other, and this, these two orbits will get closer and closer and closer. So if we speed up time a little. Come on. You can do it. Maybe I shouldn't put them too far apart. Come on, you can do it. Okay, whatever. Well, eventually these should collide and we'll, le re we'll release what's called a kilonova. So if you really wanna see what that is, well, then I can add another for you. Oof. There we go, that was a kilonova. See? That is a kilonova. Wow, look at all those crab pulsars. This says it's a supernova. Should actually say it's kilonova, but whatever. Crab pulsars are cool. So this app is called, well, this program, it's a simulation actually. It's called Universe Sandbox 2, just Google it or something. You, you can get it. <laughs> and um, remember to, if you like this video, remember to subscribe, um, hit the notification bell if you want to get new videos every time I upload. Of course, not always gonna be like this kind of simulation kind of thing, but whatever. Um, also, please remember to share this video if you liked it with your friends, and family, and people. And um, also like this video if you want it, if, if you really like it. Again, this, this program I'm using is called Universe Sandbox 2. You do have to buy it though, oh well. Um, anyway, so remember to like, subscribe, share, and also I have a website, see, um, so, um, it's how to do stuff with Ethan.com. How to do stuff with Ethan.com. So, see you there. Okay. See you next time. And bye bye.